What's up, Blue Jay fans? Rob Scott of the Jay Talking Podcast back again with another game recap. Blue Jays, Yankees in the Bronx. Yusei Kikuchi on the mound versus Domingo Ermain. Let's jump right into the box score, and then we'll talk about what we saw today after, so please stick around. We'll go top of the first. Domingo Ermain on the mound. Springer greets him with a leadoff double. Beautiful. Bo then flies out, but that's followed with a 434-foot blast to deep left center field by Vladdy Guerrero. 2-0 quickly and early for the Blue Jays. Chapman K's. Varsha walks, then Belt K's to end it. Go to the bottom of the first. Anthony Volpe singles to center, leads it off. But then Judge K's field uh, fly out by Rizzo and uh, Glaber Torres grounds out. 2 nothing after 1. Top 2, Jansen leads off single. Great to see him start getting some hits. Let's go, let's go, Jansen. Biggio then flies out to right. Kiermeyer opposite field single. Now 2 on, 1 out. But Domingo Ermain goes through Springer. He gets him to pop out. And Bo lines out. Bottom two, LeMahieu grounds out. Oswaldo Perez grounds out. Oswaldo Cabrera then comes up, though, and smashes an opposite field home run, makes it 2-1. That's followed by Hig- uh, Kyle Higa... Just give me a second. Higashioka. Kyle Higashioka with an opposite field single. So a home run, then a single. Then Kiner Falafa walks. Now two on after a home run. You see the ball starting to drift further outside of the zone. Uh, you, you sense Kikuchi's tensing up a little bit. But then he gets Volpe to ground out to third to end it. So he got out of that. Down to one. Uh, excuse me, up to one. Now top third, Hermain, uh, starts to settle strongly. He goes one up, uh, three up, three down against the Blue Jays. Bottom three, Kikuchi gets Judge to ground out. Gets Rizzo to line out on a great catch by Kiermaier in center field. Then Torres walks, but then gets caught stealing. 2-1 still, bottom three, top four. Ermain, again, 1-2-3 through the Jays. Belt, Jansen, Biggio, go in order. Bottom four, Kikuchi. He now begins just really settling in and looking good. Uh, he gets three straight ground outs. Top five, Hermain goes again, 1-2-3 through the order. KK, fly out. Bottom five, uh, Kikuchi gets Higashioka to K. Kiner Falafa then singles, but then Volpe grounds into a 5 4 3 double play. We're now through five, and the Blue Jays are up 2 1. Kikuchi pitching strong again. He's already at the point where you pass the worry. He looks good. Everything's free and easy. Top of the six, Domingo Remain. Guerrero grounds out. Chapman walks. Varsho, fielder's choice. And then Brandon Belt finally gets the monkey off his back, slams a two-run home run, extends the lead, gives him insurance, 4-1. Jansen flies out to end it. Kikuchi back in the sixth. He goes 1-2-3 through the Yankees, gets judged to K. Rizzo lines out. Torres pops out. 4-1, bottom six. Top seven, pitching change. Albert Abreu comes in for the Yanks. Biggio K's. Kiermaier uh, grounds out on a nice play by Torres and Rizzo. And then Springer lines out, so he has a good inning to work. Bottom seven, there's a pitching change. Kikuchi was at 90 pitches at this point. Why not let him come back out? Everything was nice. Everything was going. There was no stress. He was pitching very, very well, free and easy. But that's fine, okay? Uh, Eric Swanson in, in the bottom of the seventh. Again, Schneider's showing a habit of going to him early. He goes 1-2-3 through the Yankees, keeps it 4-1, top eight. Blue Jays, uh, Bo with an opposite field single, his 30th league-leading hit of the season. Vladdy then singles on a slow roller to third. Two on, nobody out. Chapman, K's. Varsho, K's. Brandon Belt, home run previous at bat. Knocks a two-run double, hits it deep off the glove of Aaron Judge. Makes it 6-1, two runners come in to score. Jansen then walks. Biggio K's to end the threat. 6-1, top eight. Bottom eight, pitching change for the Blue Jays. Trevor Richard in. Higa, Higashioka, sorry, I keep getting that. Sorry there, Higashioka. I'm, I don't mean to mess mess up your name. He flies out. Kiner Falafa K's and Volpe K's. 6-1 Blue Jays, top nine. Greg Wissard in. Weissard in. He gets, two, he gets a ground out and a fly out. Then he walks bow. Vladdy hit by pitch. Chapman walks. Bases loaded. Two out. Varsho comes up. 
he grounds out, but a nice play by Volpe to Rizzo to take take that hit away from him. He's been struggling. Bottom of the ninth, Yimmy Garcia yip, yippee, comes in to clean it up. He gives up an immediate single, a hard single to left by uh, Aaron Judge. But then he gets Rizzo to K after going down 3-0. And then Giebler Torres hits into a double play. The game is over 6-1. Blue Jays win the first game of the series. Yankees pitcher Domingo Romain was solid. He went six innings, five hits, four runs, four earned. That's not so solid, but his pitching line was good. Just seven base runners. He gave up two walks, six Ks, two of them home runs. 91 pitches and 62.6% of them were for strikes. Albert Abreu, two innings pitch, three hits, two runs, two earned, one walk, four Ks. Greg Weissert, Weissert came in, tosses an inning, gives up two walks. Yusei Kikuchi, we'll talk about him right after this. Uh, six innings, four hits, one run, one earned, two walks, three Ks, one home run, 90 pitches, 60 of them for strikes, 60% for strikes. Eric Swanson, an inning, a K. Trevor Richards, an inning, two Ks. Yimmy Garcia, yep, goes one inning, one hit. So the Yankees bullpen, which came in as the top bullpen in the majors at 204 ERA, gave up, uh, tossed three innings, three hits, two runs, two earned, three walks. So the Jays put six base runners on uh, and struck out four. Blue Jays bullpen with three innings, three Ks, and one hit. Good work there. Yankees hitters, Cabrera, one for three, one home run, one ribby, one run. Higashioka, one for three. Kiner Falafel, one for two, a walk. Judge, one for four. And Volpe, one for four. They had just five hits in the game total. Uh, Blue Jays hitters, Brandon Belt, two for four, one home run, one ribby, two, uh, uh, one double, four RBIs. Vladdy Guerrero, two for four, two runs, two ribbies, one home run. Bo Bichette, one for four, one run, one walk. Springer, one for five with a run. Another guy who's been struggling a lot. Jansen, one for three, a walk. Varsho, 0 for four, one run. And Kiermeyer, one for four. That locks it up for the Jays. Another big win. Okay, so let's talk Kikuchi. Uh, I'm buying in. I'm not again. I'm not there yet, but he he keeps pulling me further every time. And it's not. And it's how he's pitching. It's not just the results. It's how he's pitching. He's not wild. He's staying in the zone. He's staying on the edges. He's not getting himself in trouble. And as in the second inning, when he started to get in trouble, you started to sense, oh, God, here we go again with the Kikuchi inning. He was able to limit the damage. Whereas in the past, uh, you have two men on after a home run, you know, one down, uh, one down or two down. I can't remember how many were out. Uh, there was one out, uh, two outs, a home run, then two on, two outs, you know. There's another double there typically, and another single after that. And before you know it, he puts up four on the run, four runs on the board. Now he seems to be limiting it, limiting it to just one run. He's limiting the damage, um, and it's really it's really fun to watch this progress. Uh, so again, credit to him. Beautiful outing for him. Only two balls in the whole game were hit over 100 miles an hour. A lot of soft contact. Threw his uh, he was very aggressive with his fastball. Threw it a lot. Topped out at 97. He was great in the zone, as I said. Uh, one hiccup in the second, and that that's about it. Um, and I loved how he how he got himself back into it, and then blew through the uh, three, four, five, six innings. Again, would have loved to seen him come out for the seventh. I think he earned it, and I think he was so free and easy with with such little stress that there was no reason not to put him back out again. But we're in a different age of baseball. And 90 pitches was enough, and he came out. And I think the lead at that point was 4-1. So, I mean, you know, there's reasons why you could go, yeah, that makes sense. But, again, I'd love to just see these guys stretched out a little bit more. So, beautiful out outing for him. Great job, Kikuchi. Um, you're really solidifying that role. Again, I'm not sold yet i still need to see four or five of these in a row but he is a different pitcher he looks different than uh, uh, any other time he he's just more consistent he works at a nice pace and everything is uh, there's a lot less stress in the innings a lot less base runners fewer base runners so excellent brandon belt let's give a shout out to him home run double four ribbies you know he's going to be a nice pickup 
he's not going to be a star. He's not going to be a 20 home run guy. He's going to be a nice pickup um, for what he can do. Now, I'm, I'm very surprised Vladdy's dh as much as he is, and he's getting spelled at first. You know, I, I don't know if you saw my video about Danny Jansen, the rabbit hole I went down. There's not a lot of DH games to hand out to anyone, and I, I figured that Guerrero would be down to 10 at the most after 30 DH games last year. And he's already up to three or four. So that surprises me. But beautiful game, game for Brandon Belt. Hopefully this gets him going. Um, takes a lot of pressure off himself. Squeezing the bat a little bit and uh, probably trying to impress his new team. Probably trying to make sure he's feeling healthy with his knee. Uh, so this is good and hopefully a sign of things to come. Finally, Blue Jays record now 12-8. and eight. That's a 600 winning percentage. So... And that puts us on pace for 97 wins. Now think about how uneven this season has felt. The emotions, the roller coasters, the bad starts, the bullpen hiccups, uh, the offense not producing, the runners in scoring position not happening. And we're still on pace for 97 wins in a very tough division, not playing our best baseball. Okay? That's why I keep preaching, be calm, be patient, this is going to be a great season for us. Just be calm. <laughs> so I'm sorry for repeating it over and over, but I really uh, believe in what I'm saying and what I'm seeing in front of me. So that is your game recap. Blue Jays win the first one. Excellent, excellent, excellent to get that first one out of the way on the road. I will see you tomorrow.